So my name is Brian Schnauze. I'm a construction superintendent for Bell Sauce and Smith, general contractor in Ellensburg. So my job as superintendent is to oversee the employees of our company, oversee the subcontractors, make sure all the work's getting done, following the plans. Basically we don't miss anything and build it according to what the customer wants. I got into construction when I was going to school as you know, a flexible job, flexible hours to work around my school schedule. I also got into it just because it's you know, interested in me. I like building, I like being outdoors, I like the variety. Some of the benefits to this job is we do get a lot of variety, we do different things. We do a pretty wide variety of phases of construction, so job to job, the you know, our daily routine is fairly different. Uh, another benefit is that we definitely stay in shape for the most part, don't have to work out, and meet a lot of people. It's always interesting, always a challenge. There's really never a boring day. Uh, some of the downsides are living in Ellensburg, the cold winters, and being outdoors gets very old. As I get older, the physical part isn't quite as much fun anymore. And some of the people we work with aren't always the best, but that's probably with every job. I haven't experienced many horrors on the jobs, not a lot of injuries. We tend to be fairly safe and conscientious, but you know, I've known other people that I've worked with that have gone on to other jobs. And you know, we have a heavy equipment side to our company. So accidents with equipment, dump trucks, whatnot, are always a, a worry that you keep in mind. And I've had rival companies in the area that have had you know, heavy equipment accidents. I know one of our subcontractors was crushed by an excavator. Came out of it okay, but has some lifelong injuries due to that. And so yeah, there's definitely a danger side. And as much as we like to make it fun and enjoyable when it's hard, you still have to be safety conscious. And everyone wants to go home at the end of the day, so. Specific things on this job side of the, that have been interesting are, this building is from the late 1800s, and tearing things apart, dissecting how they built it, you know, and trying to figure out how to use what they have to move forward, and learning the different building techniques they used in that era versus the way we do things now has been interesting. And, Figuring out how to tie the two together and make them work is always, that's probably our biggest challenge. And, you know, it's definitely fun. I mean, there's a lot of historical value to these old buildings and you learn a lot and you learn why we do things some of the ways we do now versus what they did back then. And it definitely is different seeing things like, wow, I can't believe they get away with that. Uh, if I was gonna start over and get into construction today, work hard, be a good listener focus on learning because there's a ton to learn and also get an education because the more you know the better off you'll be in the long term anyone can run a shovel or a hammer but as you get older you want to progress and a lot of people have construction management degrees that are you know that we work with and that gives them a good background in the field and for the most part construction offers a lot of challenges there's a lot more than just building homes you know, framing up things. We do large scale construction, steel construction, to basic home building, and I think the variety is probably the best thing I like about it. And one job might not be that much fun, but they end fairly quickly, and then you can move on to the next one, and sometimes we're working up in the woods and the mountains during the summer, and those jobs are great. Hopefully we're inside during the winter. <laughs>